This is a video to teach you how to do Uddiyana Bandha. Uddiyana Bandha is the yogic term for the diaphragm stretch. You've probably seen pictures of yogis with their belly press, pressed almost flat against the spine and the rib cage concave, and for sure you've seen free divers doing it as well. The reason that we do Uddiyana Bandha is that for free divers, the more flexible your diaphragm is, the deeper you are going to be able to dive. The way that we stretch Uddiyana Bandha is on a complete exhale, we block the throat, but we actually try and inhale against that block. What happens then is that the intercostal muscles in the rib cage flare. They're trying to suck air in against that lock, and as they do so, the volume increases out that way, which means something has to give because as long as you don't inhale, the volume cannot change. And so this is what causes the diaphragm to suck up and in. Of course, you have to relax the diaphragm in order for that to happen. So you may find on your first few tries that nothing is happening. And this is just a simply a matter of awareness, practicing again and again, until you can isolate relaxing the diaphragm, but still flaring your intercostal muscles in the rib cage. It's best to practice Uddiyana Bandha on an empty stomach, because of course, the less you have going on in your abdomen, the more you're going to be able to compress. And doing this on a full stomach is uncomfortable, if not impossible. So to show you really how this works, I'm going to raise my top so that you can see my abdomen and the lower ribs. When you begin practicing this, it's good if you practice in front of a mirror because it's quite hard to actually feel what's happening, but you can very, very clearly see it. So our first Uddiyana Bandha stretch, we're just going to do on a normal yogic exhale. So you remain sitting, you exhale through your nose as far as you can, and then you pull Uddiyana Bandha up. We will then do it exhaling through the mouth, seeing if we can get a little bit more air out. And then we will finally do it where we bend forwards on the exhale, which compresses the lungs and means we can actually get more air out. And then when we sit up, we do Uddiyana Bandha that way. This is the way that you will be doing it in the lung stretch exercises later on in the program. So if you struggle with the first exercise, take your time with it. Practice, practice, practice. It will come. Make sure that you're sitting comfortably. Use a cushion if you need to, to keep your spine straight. And now just take a couple of breaths. Exhale fully. As well as my diaphragm being sucked up, you may also have noticed that the soft tissues around my clavicle were being sucked down. This shows you the degree of the negative pressure that we can create inside the rib cage through this exercise. Every soft tissue gets a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to do it now with a free diving exhale, so exhaling completely through your mouth, but remain sitting upright. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely.
Because we're able to exhale a little bit more completely through the mouth, that is a slightly more intense stretch. And so finally, we're going to go into the full free diving exhale, where we exhale as fully as we can and we bow forwards as we do that to compress the rib cage and take more air out. So this is the basic Udi Anabanda stretching. Practice it until you feel that you can reliably bring the diaphragm up inside the ribcage every time. And then you can use it to go into the lung stretch series later on in the program. And this is really going to help your diving. Enjoy this exercise along with the other two Banda exercises. This could really help you to transform your free diving. Each of the bandas has a different application, but they are so, so important. Satnam.